Hello ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, my name is Brad, this is my channel Anima Orange, in this video we're going to review Infa's Nest Swoop Bike model from Metal Earth. And this is a model from the Solo Star Wars movie that just came out on Blu-ray a couple weeks ago as of the recording of this video. And we're going to talk about not just the finished product but the build. And we'll start off with talking about the build because this isn't just about what you end up with but about the process of making it. And I'll start by saying that this, of the three or four models, actually I've done four uh, Metal Earth Iconics models from the Solo movie, this one has to be the most difficult. And there's, I'd say, two big reasons why I say that. Reason number one is there are a lot of the tabs that I don't like. And this is very much a personal thing, but the tabs that don't have fold lines, the tabs that, let's say this is the part, there's a tab that sticks out right here, and it has to be folded right along the edge of that part. And those tabs annoy me. If it's one or two, and if they're kind of off-centered, maybe not so bad, but you get a lot that are two tabs on either side of a part, and if you don't bend them just right, it's not going to fit in its place properly. And this model has a number of those tabs, and not only is that the fact that it has those tabs a little bit annoying but it's also that there's so much engraving on this model and there's so much detail which is really a good thing but there's so much detail that some of those small parts just trying to bend that tab over the part tries to bend where it shouldn't because it's trying to bend on some of that engraving so it's a double-edged sword you have wonderful detailing of the parts but it weakens the metal so that it's difficult to bend it where it should be. So I spent a lot of time bending over those annoying little edge tabs by holding the part with tweezers and then bending the tab with my finger or my thumbnail or some other tool. And that's something you're just going to have to face in this model because while I'm saying all of this and it makes it sound bad, it's worth it for the detail. You get a lot of engraving, a lot of detail, and a lot to this model which makes the end result really cool. But it comes at a price, and that's one of the prices, is those, the, the engraving and the tabs are just, there's a lot of annoying tabs on this tab. It, it really is a lot of annoying tabs. The second thing that makes it a bit challenging, more challenging than the rest, is this front section. Just go out and say it, this front section, these long, thin metal pieces are just a real bugger to try and bend over properly without completely warping everything. And I, in the end, have not done too bad, but it is not as good as I would like. And there's some question as to how much I was supposed to bend it over, because I thought it was completely in the right angle, but then up here it kind of fans back out a little bit, so not entirely confident I've done it completely properly, but the end result doesn't look too bad. But that makes it a whole nother level of challenge dealing with this whole front section and getting these parts bent properly without warping or destroying them. And that brings a whole other level of challenge to it. And then supplement to that, there are some other difficult parts, these oval parts in the back and the cylinder pieces that are buried in here. And you'll, when you build the model, you'll see it, or if you watch the build video, and I'll put a link to that. In the description these cylinder parts parts they're not really perfectly round they're oval and trying to get that oval proper trying to get it correct it's a whole nother challenge so this is so far i've built everything but the at hauler i've built both of the speeders and i've built the iconics lando's falcon and those weren't as challenging as this i really think this was the most challenging now just a few notes when it comes to building this model kind of make you aware of when you're putting these three long cylinder pieces together make sure that when you put these two top ones on that you orient there's some tabs that stick up you want to make sure that they're oriented in such a way that they they end up pointed up to where this seat will mount because there's two tabs that fold out and if you flip it and do it the wrong way it's going to point downwards you're not going to get the seat and if you get these flipped to the opposite side the tabs I think are going to be on the outer edge and there's no way you're going to get the seat on. So that's one thing to watch out for when you're building this model. And also somewhat buried inside of here is a part 25 that has a lot of little bits and bobs that go on top of it. And there's a lot of tabs that can easily get, or a lot of slots that you can easily, I usually got confused which tab goes into which slot because you've got all those parts that go on it and then you've got this 
front section that attaches to it as well as I think something else and pay extra attention to try and figure out where the tabs go into which slots there's a couple of corrections I had to make because I mounted them wrong there's a couple of things that can get mixed up and put in the wrong place because of the way the tabs are aligned and I ended up having one thing I think I had to I figured out I needed to move it goes to another spot another part I didn't figure it out until later where it was covering up one of the mount holes for this front long piece and I had to make that change as well so be a little careful with part 25 and all the parts that are going on that double check to make sure you're putting it in the right slot because that can get a little confusing another little notation when you do go add this front section onto the part 25 uh, there's so many different tabs already twisted in there from the other parts I really couldn't twist anything I ended up using my really pointed uh, precision tweezers to twist the tabs upwards because that was the only way I could really get to them to hold them down to hold this front section in place and also you've got basically this front half and this back engine half when you get this front half finished up there's a piece that connects kind of connects the two together that in the instructions it shows this back section you fold a couple of flaps up and down and make in the instructions it makes a real nice square connection point with some tabs on it but in reality when I tried to fold those sides over to make that nice clean square was not a nice clean square the parts again with the all the engraving did not evenly bend they just kind of curved and so I ended up spending a little extra time with some tweezers trying to flatten those pieces out and actually make it into the shape of a square so that the parts would come together cleanly now I've said that this is a tedious build I've said this is a very challenging build I've, I've mentioned some areas in there to be careful with they can be confusing and whatnot, but after saying all that, the reality is this is a nicely detailed model. It is a delicate model and it is difficult to shape. And it basically boils down to if you want to make this model and you want this really cool looking end result, you're going to have to deal with the tedium of all the tiny little parts and being delicate with these sensitive and delicate pieces. It is part of the process so even though I've pointed out some flaws and some issues here and there the reality is if you want this really cool thing you're gonna have to deal with the tedious parts which makes it worth it so the end result is that even though this is a challenging and difficult model you end up with this really cool really cool swoop bike model it's going to look great on your desk beside the rest of the stuff even if you mess it up just a little bit there's so much detail to it and it, i don't really think the spirit of this model i could be mistaken but i don't really think this is meant to be a really clean sharp looking bike it's meant to be a bit utilitarian and a bit of a, a workhorse and probably not the cleanest neatest of things so if you mess it up just a little bit i think that's just going to add character to the final model so while I was building it I do remember thinking man this is going to look awful but no no the beauty of this model is that when you're finally done you get all the pieces together things pull into shape and you end up with this really awesome super detailed model that you may even look back and go wow I did that that is so cool and that turned out so awesome and I did that well done Metal Earth I enjoyed this one this took a total of three and a half hours to put together, which is just a little bit more than the previous two solo models that I did, the two different uh, speeders that I did. It didn't feel like it took longer than three and a half hours, but it didn't feel like it took less than three and a half hours. It felt like it, I felt all three and a half hours of the build because it is more challenging and more intimate and more, more, I keep using the word tedious, but it's probably a better word, but it was just more to it to put it together so it didn't feel like it was a quick build. It didn't feel like it took dreadfully long. And in the end, it's very much worth it because of the amazing detail. But I, I do want to add one more thing. That now that we've proven that we can do this swoop bike type thing with these long, thin pieces, where's our speeder bike? Where's our Return of the Jetter speeder bike? We know we can do it. We know you can make the model. So you can make something similar. We know we can build it. Where's our bike? I'll leave it at that. 
As always, thank you for watching. If you enjoy these review or build videos, consider becoming a Patreon supporter. A little bit goes a long way. You'll find the link in the description down below. And here in a second, just at the very end of this video, and also you'll find a link to the build of this model if you want to check that out and see how I put it together. Thank you for watching, and keep on keeping on.